Hey guys, welcome back to Dean's Dolls. Adela here, and today I have a really special video for you guys. It's my first ever behind the scenes of a doll series that I'm doing here on my channel. So the first one's going to be episode 3 of Why Born, the episode that was just released a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just going to show you guys the process of how I get the dolls set up, how I get the episode set up, and just the process of it all. So here we go. So first things first, you want to make sure the script is actually written. So I have all my scripts pre-written. I've written these since 2017 and I kind of just go back when I'm editing them in real time and just making sure it's modern and it's not cringy because I did write this when I was like 17 years old and I'm 22 now so that would not make any sense. And so after that, I have the dolls all together that's listed that I need. So I have the core four that's going to be in this episode right now. So we have Finny and I make sure they're in costume for the episodes because I don't like them wearing the same episode the same clothing that they wore in the previous episodes unless it's like a pajamas or something like that so we have Finny he's kind of preppy this episode just because I wanted him to have a, dip, a specific contrast from Gavin who's more like a edgy kind of style and I think it fits Finny who's more like on edge so here we have Gavin rocking the Freddie Mercury graphic tee and then I have him wearing leather pants so you can see the obvious contrast between Finny's outfit with the Letterman sweatshirt sweater so it's pretty obvious and it just looks really nice it suits him very well I would say and what I meant by like Finny being on edge I just mean like he's more particular about things and Gavin's more laid back on how he lives his life so it's Maya she's still finding her style so she's kind of just wearing what's trendy right now but you'll see her have a change soon so here we have Christelle. She's not in her work clothes. She's very feminine in her clothing. I really, really love this outfit. It was in one of my Etsy shop reviews. So if you want to go check that out, you should. And I just really love how everything is put together, even her shoes. She's very, very homely, and she just looks very put together once again. So that's a core four for this episode that's already dressed up. So I'm just going to get the others that are not dressed up so you guys can actually see the process of how I pick up the costumes and all of that jazz. So we're going to need Cass, Mrs. Pitts, and J Uncle Jess. Here is Cass. And she's wearing her old outfit from the episode two. And here is... Mrs. Pitts, also known as Amanda Pitts. I actually decided that I'm not going to use her in this episode, so you will see that she's not in the actual release, the premiere, if you will. And we have Uncle Jess. So, yeah, so Amanda was cut. <laughs> but here they are. They look really nice, and they're going to be put together because they're not going to wear the same outfit, like I said. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Amanda. So she's going to be particularly styled more high class high fashion since she's like in charge of the pet studios which is a fashion company so i get all my doll clothes out of this bag i need to organize them in like a different organizing thing because that's just not gonna work anymore and trying to find through sort through all those clothes in that bag so here we have amanda you can see her style from the last episode was very put together blazer pantsuit it's just nice so I was thinking maybe overalls I know it looks not together but the overalls could be something if the shirt that's underneath looks nice so that could work because she's gonna be in a home scene or I could just have her wear this outfit that this Barbie doll is wearing but I feel like that's too much for just being at home because it seems she's in supposed to be at her house or she could just wear like this sweater dress and then I can have some really nice pants or something with it so I decided on the sweater dress I think it looks really nice, so I just need to find good bottoms with it. So I was thinking either I could have like these jean shorts or I could have this nice long see-through mesh skirt. So I'm not, I'm not really sure which one would look better, but I'm going with the shorts and leaning towards the shorts. So I decided on the shorts and it looks really nice. So it's more like loungewear kind of, but like high class fashion in a way. So now we're going to have Cass wear her bodysuit and this is because it's like more of her costume that she's supposed to wear her top secret costume that you guys see in the episode and I'm gonna find Uncle Jess something casual because he's not really a fashion guy in general okay so they're both dressed in their outfits for the episode so you're gonna see Cass in this all black pleather bodysuit and it looks really nice but it was very difficult to put on so I think I'm gonna get a different outfit for when they're actually fighting crime and all that just because I feel like this will not be very convenient as I go on as the episodes go on where they're actually having to move a lot more and posing and I feel like a little rip so I think because I do have another outfit for Maya as well 
but I just don't think this is gonna work. It's not very doable. So as you guys can see with Uncle Jess, he looks really put together. It's just jeans, boots, and he has a black undervest shirt. So it looks really nice. I really like how their outfits put are, how it came together. And then this was a dress I thought I was gonna have Cass wear when she goes back to the home with Gallen and they meet with Amanda Pitts. But like I said, that scene was cut just because I felt like it wasn't necessary and I just kind of wanted to end the scenes with Maya and Finney instead just because I wanted them to have some growth because you know a lot about Gavin's family but you don't know much about Finney and Maya and I kind of want to show that in this episode and I feel like I did. So once costumes and all that are ready I get the set together so as you guys saw from the drop to fab video I have all the furniture necessary for the YB lair and I put it all together and it just looks really nice and so I make sure the dolls are all together and they're kind of seated or standing with the doll stands so I use doll ankle stands that I bought from eBay in like 2017 a while ago I'm pretty sure it's still for sale if you guys can look and search for them they're really really nice and doable and they actually can stand regardless of what the scene is so if you have like cardboard or foam board the doll will be able to stand so how i make the dolls move in this set so i'll have them like shaking a little bit as they're talking and then i'll move their arms a little bit and then i'll have them speak or i'll have them like facing each other and once they face each other i make sure all the other dolls are looking at the person that's supposed to be speaking that i'm shaking so that it makes sense so you guys can see here i have gavin facing finney because he's gonna be the one talking so here's kind of a better way of what i'm talking about so i would have them all kind of move their heads and things like that different like poses and it just looks better that way come on come on come on please pick up sabrina hey it's sabrina sorry i can't answer your call right now i'm probably really busy though so just leave me a message after the beep so that was kind of an example of how it would look like once all the hands are edited and once all the movements are put together it's kind of stop motion but not stop motion in a way because i still have them shaking and moving that kind of thing is i can't think of doing an episode fully stop motion unless it's like something really mini you know really small but why more never short here i think episode three is probably the shortest episode to be real i think that was my shortest episode so that's kind of just shows you with maya with the phone call with sabrina which is the scene i did leave in and i think it's a good continuation from i think the first or second episode i don't remember when she tried to call sabrina last time but it just kind of shows how their relationship is fading and how she's starting her new uh friendships with gavin and finney you guys are going to see that as the series continues now here's my favorite scene that i did i think i did a lot more acting here than i did compared to any wyborn thing i've done so i really liked how finney and uncle jess relationship was really showed here it was displayed very well because you know he's not a parent figure but he is and finney just doesn't see it that way just because of the fact that like he lost his parents and he doesn't feel like Uncle Jess understands him in that sense. So you guys are going to see a lot more. Thank you so much if you've watched to the end. There will be more videos like this. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and just have a great day.